So hey, this is AJ. Welcome back to the Handyman Process. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a recent survey that I conducted to try to see how much people, how many, how much um, handyman businesses, handy men, handy women businesses across the country are trying to charge per hour. Uh, so behind you, you kind of see some of the data that I'm going to be kind of going over. So I'm going to walk through uh, the survey, how I set it up, where I collected the information, kind of what it shows, and then some future efforts that I'm going to try to undertake. So stay tuned. All right, so if you're new to the channel, my name is AJ, and this is the Handyman Process. In this, um, on this uh, YouTube channel, what I try to do is I try to get behind the scenes of the process, the business process of running a handyman business. In my day job, um, I'll qualify that I'm a part-time handyman. So in my day job, I'm a, a data scientist or a data analyst. Uh, so I spend a lot of time kind of compiling information that I'm going to kind of share with you today. I've just applied it to the handyman community in uh, today's application. Anyway, in a nutshell, what I did recently was conducted a survey of handyman businesses across the country to try to find out what are they charging per hour? What are they trying to make per hour revenue dollars and where are they located? And what you see behind me is kind of a chart of some of that information. Um, all the information I'm going to be sharing with you today, these charts, the data, everything is going to be uh, down below uh, in the description. Uh, so if you can't exactly see what I'm showing, don't worry about it. You'll be able to see everything uh, down below. And I'll try to zoom in in some cases so there's a little bit more clarity in kind of what I'm coming up with. But I'm going to walk through a couple things. The first one is how did I collect the data? The second one is where did I get the data? And the third one is you know what is the data telling us? And then what are the, the future steps? With that being said, let's talk first about where did I get this data? Um, so I like to use a software called JotForm. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get any commissions by you guys using them. I actually pay a monthly fee for them. But, but what I use it for different applications to, to kind of gather data. So I spent a lot of time, as a lot of you may as well, in some of the various Facebook groups that are out there. And there's always this common question, what are you charging per hour? What are you charging per hour? What are you charging for per hour? Uh, it's an interesting question. But not necessarily a great question. It's interesting because people are curious and want to know. It's not great because uh, just asking that question by itself doesn't give you the full context of, you know, why are you charging that per dollar or per hour? Uh, so take what I'm showing you with a grain of salt. This is kind of just like a high level newspaper. Hey, this is what the statistics say. But uh, um, keep in mind, it's a general basic um, survey. It's actually just a two question survey. Uh, so there's a lot more insight and context that's missing in the data that that came back in. But the good news is, and I'll talk about this at the end of the video, is you know if people are interested in diving a little further down, we can expand this data set and provide a little bit more insight. So with that being said, let me just talk about the two questions that I that I sent out. Again, all the links that I'm sharing will be down below. Uh, but I sent out. Uh, essentially, these two questions: How much do you try to gross per hour of your labor, and what state are you in? Right. Uh, I didn't collect any other data than that. People would enter their information, you know, choose what state they're in, put the dollar amount in. Uh, in this case, let's just say you know it's $100 and you're in Arizona, right? And then you hit the submit button and it, and it goes in and does its thing. Uh, so I released this, right? I released this on two Facebook groups. Uh, before I go any further, let me give a shout out to those two Facebook groups. So the first Facebook group that I'm going to give a shout out to here is the Handyman Journey excuse me, uh, is the Handyman Journey hosted by uh, Alan Lee. Uh, as you can see, he has over uh, almost 14,000 members. So it's a great place to kind of uh, gather data. I posted it. I, I've shared the information with everybody on that group. And Alan, I appreciate um, you allowing me to, to post that survey on there. I'll be also linking to Alan's uh, YouTube channel uh, down below. And then the other place that I dropped it off was on uh, Ray Duke's site. Uh, bulletproof handyman. So if you're not a member of these two communities, I definitely recommend you, you check them out. Both great content, both uh, YouTubers in the handyman space. Uh, so a great resource to kind of uh, grab and gather this data. Okay. Uh, so that's where I, I got the data, right? I went in and I posted, uh, if I scroll down here somewhere, you'll see uh, I was posting the surveys and the results kind of as they were coming through. Uh, so that's that's where I gathered the data. Uh, and then as the data comes in, this is a little bit behind the scenes in JotForm, 
it shows me, you know, how much data is coming in uh, and kind of what does it look like, right? So I can see, let me just go ahead and refresh this. <clears throat> so that's that's refreshing. It's just going to tell me essentially how many submissions have, have been sent in so far. And I've just asked it to, to um, you know, compile it by, by state, right? So I can come in here and I can start to see, okay, these are all the different submissions. This one came on September 24th. Uh, at uh, $100 in Texas, and then just, just capturing a unique ID, right? So all this data, right, I can come over here and I can download it and I can export it to Excel. So that's what I do, right? I export it out to Excel. Uh, and again, this form that I'm showing you, I will be linking down below, but all the raw data from that jot form is here, right? I just come in, copy, paste it into here. So now I have kind of all the data. Uh, so this is located on the raw data tab that you're going to see in the Google Sheet that I will share with you. In addition to that, you're going to see a, a couple of things up here. First one is uh, a shout out to the places where I gathered the data. Again, the Handyman Journey Mastermind group and the Bulletproof uh, Handyman Facebook group. Uh, they were gracious enough to allow me to, to post those surveys there. That's why we got over 200 uh, um, submissions so far. In addition to that, um, I do something, I, I recently set up something called the uh, Handyman Community app. Uh, it's, it's currently only available on the App Store uh, and it's, it's branded underneath my name. I, I made it, but uh, uh, anyway, this is an area where I'm trying to kind of crowdsource the Handyman community and just post interesting and useful information. So if you're interested in, in checking that out, go ahead and check it out. Uh, I had initially posted it for 99 cents for the app, um, but I, I recently changed it to free. Uh, I'll figure out some way to monetize it because it's cost me a couple thousand dollars to make this. But um, in the meantime, it's free. You can kind of go ahead and uh, go ahead and check it out. Uh, and then the final thing is the link to the Jot form. The form I was just showing you here previously is also linked in here. So if you haven't participated in the survey and you'd like to, you just click on that link and it'll bring you back over there. Um, anyway, after I have all that data, right, what do I do with it? Well, I, I do something called a pivot table with it. So I bring the data over here. And let me scroll all the way over to the side here, give you a little bit more insights. Um, so what I do is I grab all that data, I throw it in the pivot table. Um, if this is Greek to you, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. But essentially what I told Google Sheets to do is, hey, group it by state, in this case, Alabama, count how many different people responded by counting the response IDs, and then let me know what they told, told you, right? And ignore this. These are two other pivot tables over here. So just ignore them for a minute. What this is showing you is Alabama had six submissions, two of them at 65, one of them at 75, one of them at 100, one of them at 125, and another, another one of them at 125. Actually, let me just uh, insert a column, a couple of columns here so that you can see that they're, they're separate tables. Okay. So that's what this table is doing, right? So if you're in Alabama, you might look over here and say, wow, okay, $93 is the average in Alabama. Well, it's the average of these numbers, right? So if I looked at these numbers and I averaged it out, you'll see, okay, it's an average of that. Um, so some people are on the low end, some people are on the higher end. And this goes back to what I mentioned earlier about, I didn't ask them for specific cities. I didn't ask them for you know, how lean their operations are, how many years of experience, so on and so on. Uh, so this is something that if people are interested in getting a little bit more insight into the future, we could dive a little further into that. But in a nutshell, like if you're in Alabama and you're the $65 guy, you probably want to know, how do I become the 125 guy? And if you're the 125 guy, you're probably pissed at the $65 guy. Uh, so anyway, it's a little bit of insight into that, right? And for all the different states, we have that information. You can, you can start to see over here on the charts, uh, the red lines are representing the average, right? The average of of this number. It's also averaged here in the second pivot table. And then how many responses, right? So in this case, Alabama, six responses. The average is $93. If you want to dive further, you can come over here to the left-hand side and you can see that information. Uh, when the data was first coming in, it was interesting because we had one uh, person in New Hampshire that we only had one submission at the time and, and he was $200, right? So everybody was joking around. They, everybody wants to, to move to New Hampshire. Uh, but that the the gentleman from New Hampshire uh, basically said, "Hey, I didn't understand the question that you asked in the survey. I thought you were like, you know, what are your what's a goal? What are you trying to shoot for?" Um, so that's why his number was high. But you know, we all admire that, right? That's a that's a great uh, <laughs> a great number to, to kind of kind of shoot for. But as more data comes in, right, the numbers kind of start to to normalize, and that's what you're seeing here. In the middle, you're seeing this little trend line, 
that's showing um, basically the average of, of all the different numbers that we have here. And you can also see that if I come down to the bottom of the pivot table here is uh, with 217 submissions, the average dollar amount we're looking at is about 103. Again, keep in mind, I ask people what their revenue numbers are, right? What are they shooting? This is before taking out expenses and, and, and whatnot for, for other types of things. It doesn't include materials, it's just straight labor. But it's interesting, you know, so you can see the data here. I want, you know, again, you guys have access to it. You can come in here, you can play around with it. I've charted it two different ways. I've charted it one way where you can just see alphabetical state, what the data looks like. And then I've also charted it to the right here by going from the highest state down to the to the lowest state. I've had a few people reach out, hey, that, that data is flawed, it's missing this. I completely understand that, right? I'm a data scientist in my day job. I know this isn't scientific, um, you know, that you should change your price to this or that. It is what it is. It's a two question survey. These are the results of the two question survey. And this is what it looks like when you chart it out. Uh, there's a saying in the data science community that if you torture data enough, it'll confess to whatever you want it to confess to. Uh, so the takeaway is, you know, don't dive too deep into this. It is what it is. Um, and um, the, the numbers are what they are. And that's going to lead me up to, you know, some of the future efforts in the future. Uh, before I jump off of this, let me just go down. I've also thrown it in, in, into a geo chart, right? So if you want to click on the map chart down here, it does the same thing, but it just overlays it, right? So if you want to scroll around the countries, you can see, you know, some states didn't submit anything. You know, Idaho is $95, Oregon 98 this is again, just the average number based on the submissions that we had. Uh, so as more data comes in here, you know, it's just, just a little feature that you can do uh, within Google Sheets. Uh, and if you're if you're great and you wanna manipulate and change this, feel free to take this data, build your own dashboard, share them back with the community. That would be, that would be cool. Uh, I'm, I'm used to working more in Excel and, and Microsoft Power BI where I do a little bit more stuff. But to, it makes it easier to share stuff with people if I just do it in, um, Google Sheets here. Okay, so that's the survey uh, in, in a nutshell, the data that came through uh, and continues to come through. Now let's talk about next steps. So a lot of feedback was, hey, can you get a, can you get more information? Can you get more information? And, and the answer is, yeah, absolutely. Right? I can use the same process that I just did and I can send that stuff out. Uh, if, if the two YouTube channels, if Alan and Ray, if you guys want to use your audiences for to help me collect this data, you know, I'll give you I give everybody open access to this data, right? That's kind of the way I roll. Uh, if you want you know, to participate in future surveys, just go ahead and let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to send that stuff out to you. Uh, if, if you're watching this video and you're like, yeah, I'd, I'd like to participate in some more, maybe you're not in those Facebook groups or for whatever reason, you don't, uh, whatever. Uh, I've also created another form here. So in this form, these are all uh, open questions. Nothing's required. Feel free to share your name, your last name, your email. Uh, when did you start your handyman business? This will give us a little bit of an idea of kind of an experience level. And then there's two questions here. You know, what kind of questions or insights do you want to see on future surveys? Because you know you're you're the best source of those kinds of um, questions and, and answers. Uh, so feel free to you know to post whatever you want here. I want to see more insight. Uh, somebody had brought up, hey, can you do a survey on how many hours it takes to change a fan or a light fixture? Yeah, we could absolutely do that. You know, there's there's data sources out there right now, like HomeWise, that, that help you do that. But we can create our own data set, if you will, and, and our own set of knowledge uh, to help out with that. If there's anything else you want to add, you can just kind of come down here to the additional feedback box and uh, add some more data there as well. And then just hit submit. And then what I'll do is I'll just keep track of all that stuff. Uh, next time I, you know, depending on the feedback that I get in these boxes, I'll build out another survey. I'll send it out to the email distro list maybe refine it a little bit and then send out another survey. And again, uh, make another video on this, post that information uh, back to the Facebook groups if they let me, to the Handyman Community uh, app that's uh, continuing to grow and evolve uh, and anywhere else that uh, people may be interested. Uh, in addition to that, you'll see that after you complete that survey, it'll basically bring you back over to my YouTube channel. Um, so you know, feel free, if you're not following me on, on YouTube right now, feel free to go ahead and do that. Anyway. That's uh, the nutshell, the survey, and, uh, and an overview. So I appreciate you guys watching. So thanks for following along. Hopefully you got something out of this video. It's a little bit useful to you. Uh, be sure to go ahead and check out all the links I dropped down below. Play around with the data. And if you have any comments or 